Hello guys, uh, this is Mr. Viz. Welcome back to my channel. So I thought of making a short series uh, uh, on how to create uh, a radial menu. Uh, not sure if you guys have seen the radial menu that I, I have used in my uh, TPS project. So this is how it looks. So let me equip some weapons. So when I press the Q key, it will show me a radial menu instead of uh, the default overlay uh, menu of ALS. So with this menu, I can equip the weapons or uh, use the medkit or throw a grenade. So this is how I've used on my uh, uh, template. Uh, so in this tutorial uh, series, uh, I'm going to show how to create it uh, from scratch on, on a blank project so that anybody uh, uh, can follow. Uh, so just to avoid dependency on uh, uh, following my whole series to use this radial menu. So uh, I'll just I'll start creating on a LSV blank project, but uh, you can follow this on any project you have. Uh, it is nowhere uh, related or tied up with ALSB4 or my existing tutorials. So you can follow on uh, any of your uh, existing uh, uh, existing project, or uh, you can start from a scratch project. The reason why I am picking it. Uh, uh, the ALS as a basis. Uh, I'll have different options to show here as uh, I'll have overlay states which I can uh, tie up with each of these dices. Uh, so just for that I'm using ALS before but as I said uh, you can use it on any uh, uh, any project. So I have created a, a blank ALS V4 project and uh, before that uh, all these tutorials will be released for free on uh, YouTube uh, just as an early access all, all the uh, videos will be released uh, for the members first then uh, one by one all the videos will be released for uh, uh, everyone so if you see uh, these videos uh, in members only uh, then you have to wait for a couple more days to see uh, see each of these videos uh, so this is how your ALS menu looks like so instead of this we are going to put our uh, radial menu okay so let's start So uh, you need to create uh, a similar kind of uh, structure on uh, uh, in, in Photoshop or uh, any uh, any any other tool which you are comfortable with. Then once you uh, create this layout, uh, create it exactly how you want it on the on Unreal, Unreal Engine. Then uh, once you have created uh, this thing, uh, just take each part of this. So just take each of these dice and copy it create a new file and make note of this width and height so this is the width and height you are going to use on unreal engine uh, then paste it here uh, remove the background then save it as png then save this as a png file so like this i have already uh, uh, created different pngs so this is for center, left, right, top, top, left, top, right, bottom, bottom, left, bottom, right. And uh, I have created one more uh, file here just to show me the layout. So I'll have this as a base on Unreal Engine and I'll start arranging my icons or, or the uh, buttons above this. Uh, so uh, people can download uh, these files from uh, my Discord server. So I'll, I'll 
put this on uh, put uh, I'll, I'll put these on the resource downloads channel so you can download these files from there so I've imported uh, the files So likewise, I have all the shapes for uh, each of this. And once you have imported this on the texture group, select as UI and compression settings, set it as user interface uh, 2D. So select all the uh, assets, go to asset actions, click bulk edit via property matrix. And here you can change the settings for all the things. Uh, just check, select the change the texture group to UI and compression settings to user interface 2D. Okay. So everything is updated. Save all. So now create a budget blueprint. Name it as the pen menu. Okay, add a canvas panel. Okay, so now uh, we want to arrange all those uh, uh, buttons at the right places. Uh, for that only we have imported this image so we'll just uh, put this on the uh, on the widget blueprint wherever we want and uh, after that uh, we will arrange the remaining thing Okay, set this size to 512 and 512. So this is a, this is the size I prepared this and I'm positioning it to center. And then putting an offset of 0.5. So to make it exact center. Uh, you can either uh, keep this uh, uh, menu in the center or uh, you can offset it to any direction uh, like uh, uh, in days gone uh, it is offset towards the right so I'll also move it here so now we are anchoring it to center from center it will move 500 uh, uh, pixels towards X so this is how our menu will look uh, uh, on the screen during gameplay okay so now we have our uh, base image here now let's start uh, putting our other uh, images and as I said each image has a size specific and uh, we have to make sure uh, we have to put that we have put that correctly and as you all know that uh, we are going to create buttons here and uh, the buttons will be used to uh, uh, select different uh, uh, actions for the player so we have to put a button and uh, above that we have to put a size box then an overlay and then the image and uh, the reason we are putting an overlay and then the images uh, in some cases we will be having uh, the uh, ammo count or the medkit count uh, something like that so uh, if we have an overlay it's easy to put multiple items uh, above a button 
So, uh, and this is the start point. Uh, let's catch up in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.